now we will sketch first part of universal joint driving yoke so let's start choose front plane sketch select center rectangle and draw one rectangle and assign the length 60 by 90 mm select extruded boss 15 mm ok now select this top face sketch normal draw two circles outer one 60 mm and inner one 30 mm choose corner rectangle and draw one corner rectangle three mm and four mm okay now select here extend entities and extend this up to this circle now choose trim entities and trim this inside okay choose mirror entity mirror these two lines about this line select ok select mirror entities delete this midline ok now we will extrude this portion up to 30 mm ok Now select this top face, sketch normal. Now here we will draw some circles. Assign diameter and outer 46 and inner 16 mm and the distance mid distance from this line keep 35 mm ok choose line and draw a line from one end to this end and up to this again choose a line and connect from one to here exit now make relation between circle and line tangent this same as here tangent select this point and this point vertical choose two entities and delete inside lines ok select extruded boss 15 mm but reverse direction ok now choose top plane mirror and the last extruded boss ok now this is our driven yoke is ready we will assign some color so it will identify ok now save as in desktop create new folder select universal join and this one driving yoke first part save Now we will sketch next part cross bearing. So choose top plane a sketch. Select circle and draw two circle one is small and one big. Keep the diameter 30 mm and 16 mm. Okay. 
सेलेक्ट एक्सक्लूडेड बॉस 60 एम एम बट चूज मिड प्लेन ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट राइट प्लेन स्केच ड्रॉ टू सर्कल्स असाइन डायमीटर थर्टी एम एम एंड सिक्सटीन एम एम एंड डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम हियर टू ओरिजिन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी थ्री एम एम ओके एंड मेक श्योर दिस पॉइंट एंड ओरिजिन पॉइंट इन सेम लाइन सो मेक रिलेशन नाउ सेलेक्ट एक्सक्लूडेड बॉस द सेम चूज मिड प्लेन सिक्सटी एम एम ओके चूज फिलेट फाइव एम एम एंड सेलेक्ट दिस इन साइड लाइन ओके नाउ सी दिस इज द्रॉस क्रॉस बेरिंग फॉर यूनिवर्सल ज्वाइंट यू कैन असाइन सम कलर सो इट विल आइडेंटिफाई ओके now save as part number 2 bearing cross now the third part we will make bold so choose right plane sketch first we will create bold head keep the diameter 24 mm okay and extruded up to 8 mm keep chamfer 1 mm okay now select this end sketch sketch a circle and make diameter 16 mm and extrude up to 105 mm choose chamfer 1 mm 45 degree select this face okay now choose top plane sketch now here we will create one hole Four mm and distance from here ninety-four mm. Ch choose mid plane. Okay. And. make the color um, any is up to you okay now save this part bold now we will make part number for bush choose top plane sketch draw two circles and assign the diameter 24 and 16 mm select extruded boss keep 8 mm ओके चूज फिलेट वन एम एम एंड सेलेक्ट एंड पोर्शन ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट राइट प्लेन स्केच एंड वी विल मेक सम होल हियर 
just above the origin point four mm four mm select extruded cut and we want to cut through all so choose here through all both ok assign the color ok now save as bush now we will sketch pin choose top plane sketch draw a 4 diameter 4 mm diameter select extruded boss keep 30 mm better to keep mid plane ok choose chamfer 0.5 and select both the ends and assign color let's say red now save as a pin now open the next one more part driving yoke now say change this color green and save this part as the next part save as driven yoke now let's start the assembly now we will start the assembly of universal joint so click new part choose assembly ok now we will browse one by one all the parts first choose driving yoke press shift bearing bolt all six parts ok now the first part is fixed other all are rotating so let's start choose mat select this inside line and this top line ok select this inside and this choose ok just re rotate it here ok now select this bolt ok select this face and this face ok now just press control key and drag this one more part now choose mat select this portion and this portion make reverse ok now select this back of head and this 
okay now choose this inside and this okay select this side and this side make reverse okay now just find the holes both the holes should be match select this inside hole and this hole concentric okay now choose this pin and this inside okay now select this top and select pin make reverse select okay now again press control key and copy one part control key copy another part now we will fix this another end mat make reverse okay select this face and body face okay now just try to find the hole select this inside hole and this hole okay now bring the pin here select this hole okay select top and this face okay so now our universal joint is ready see this is fixed you can even uh, float better fix this body so the one part will rotate this is the driven yoke i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to share and like our video and thanks for watching